Hey, it's John Cook here with Keynote Content. So great to be able to connect with you and uh, talk through uh, a topic that I think is very important for a lot of different businesses, a lot of different people with, whether you're a speaker, coach, an expert, you're a thought leader, you're a trainer, it's going, you're hearing this desire, you've got to pivot, you've got to pivot, pivot, pivot. And I'm here to tell you that before you pivot, there are some important details you need to have in mind, especially when it comes to your messaging. And, and today I'm going to walk you through a couple different details to help you pivot with your message the right way, clearly and effectively. So the first thing is, instead of just pivoting, what I want you to do is I want to start with knowing your why. And your why is, um, this is something that can hold to any type of season, any type of economy, any type of, of situation or industry, whatever it might be. It's going, this is why you do what you do. This is what gets you fired up. This is what gets you excited. This is what gets you um, uh, being able to get out of bed in the morning, make sure that this is why I am um, making a difference in the world around me. And so knowing your why is a huge part. And if you don't know your why, take half a day, take an hour, whatever it might be, and think about what am I most excited about? What do I really want to do with my life? What do I really uh, want to share with the world around me that I know is my gifting or this is my calling? And how can I make a difference in a meaningful way? Knowing your why is a huge place to start. The second thing I want you to do is know your audience, know your who, as it were, know the people that you really want to serve. And you might say, gosh, I don't, I don't really know my audience. I don't really know who it is that I want to serve and what makes them tick and what, uh, what are the challenges, what are the problems? Well, you can head to workwithjohncook.com, fill an application, we'll hop on a call, we'll talk about your audience, we'll talk about your why, talk about what is it that you want to share with the world around you and, and what makes you different. So. Once you know your why and you know your audience, that might have changed in the last several weeks, especially as we go through this COVID-19 pandemic and the economy changing. You might think, I, the people that I really want to serve, whether it's like, let's say it's in-person events. I was just talking with a guy who's a, a good friend of mine, Cody. His uh, wife, Christy, is an event planner for live events and her entire business vaporized over the last couple of weeks. She has no events really planned for the next uh, several months and who knows when live events might come back. And so the pivot of that is going, she could go to, okay, is it online events? Is it still event planning? And if it's event planning, what does that even look like for, um, for my business? So your why probably hasn't changed. Your audience may have changed because your audience context might have changed, their environment. Oh, they're not on site or they're not in person or this economy is entirely shut down, whether it's an entertainment or whether it's a hospitality, whatever it might be, very, very different contexts and environments are now in place because of certain industries, because of this pandemic and the economy changing. But once you know your why, you know your audience saying, okay, whether that's changed, whether it stayed the same, whether it's accentuated, saying really want to know what are their challenges. Know their challenges. And of course, you might say, John, this is so obvious, knowing the challenges, but know their challenges that they're facing this month. I'm not worried about what their challenges were last, uh, last month or even last year. It's going, what are their challenges they're facing this month or the next month or the next several weeks? I can't think about what it was that they were facing three or four months ago because that's completely different now than what it is right now. Know their challenges for this month. And once you really identify what their challenges are, I want you to keep this concept in place. Think painkillers, not vitamins. Because vitamins are, oh, that's nice to have. Okay, I have to do it. But nothing truly really changes if I don't take this vitamin. If I don't take this painkiller, this is pain is only going to keep getting worse. It's going to keep grating on my nerves or on my marriage or my finances or my parenting or my mindset or my health or whatever it might be unless I get this painkiller in place. So... Once you identify, know their challenges this month, then creating a solution or identifying what is your top solution that speaks to their pain. Think painkillers, not vitamins. Anybody can sell a vitamin when things are amazing. How many people can, pr pr uh, can prove that their solution, whether it's their book or their course or training, the coaching, whatever it might be, how can you prove that you that your solution truly can solve or kill that pain. And it's not, oh, that's nice to have. It's a need to have. Painkillers, not vitamins. And for your products, part of that is saying you need to prove your plan. You have to prove your solution, really. 
And you might say, John, I don't know what my solution really is. I don't know what my audience is facing right now. I don't know what this pain is that they're facing. I don't really know what their challenges are this month. You can go to workwithjohncook.com, fill out an application. It doesn't cost you a dime to do that. We can hop on the phone, talk about where your audience is at, talk about where your business is right now. Your business might be completely upside down compared to what it was a month ago. I, we, um, most of our clients are speakers speaking at live events, and many of them relying on speaking fees. How do they recoup their speaking fees or replace those speaking fees that they're not getting by doing whether it's virtual events or whether it's doing consulting or coaching? And so part of that pivot is saying, hey, going from the in-person audience to that virtual coaching or whatever it might be, that's been a huge shift for a number of clients where we're saying, your why hasn't changed, your audience largely stays the same, it would just be in a different context, but for the people that are in your audience, you need to make sure that your message is going from just vitamins, where it's like, okay, here's how to, to be able to accelerate your health, lose 10 pounds. I'm not worried about losing my 10 pounds, I'm worried about losing my house, or I'm not worried about you know losing my, uh, my um, you know, being able to have an amazing looking lawn, I'm worried about having an amazing marriage once I get out of this. Whatever it might be, whatever your challenge is that your audience was facing previously, it's likely a different challenge now. You need to identify that and articulate that better than anybody else because you can prove your solution works. And okay, but it's not just proving your solution like, hey, if you have this problem, I need to articulate that problem better than anybody else. And that gives my audience hope that I can articulate a solution that because I truly understand the problem better than anybody else. Prove your solution based on looking at painkillers, not vitamins, based on their challenges this month. And what I want you to know more than anything else is that you have an opportunity to lean into this moment, to lean into this time. And for a lot of people, they're saying, gosh, I can't be selling right now. Pivot, pivot, pivot. Yeah, but I, I don't want to take advantage of people. And that's an amazing, amazing uh, conscience to have in mind, the integrity of saying we don't want to take advantage of people, but we there's a huge difference between taking advantage of a tragedy and taking advantage of an opportunity. Yes, what's going on with the pandemic with COVID-19, it's awful. It, it, families, industries, uh, countries are completely being disrupted by this. But how you step into this moment, how you step into these next couple of weeks will have a huge, huge impact on how the world sees you. Are you presenting, oh, if I'm just continuing to present vitamins when it's when it's truly a lot of pain going on, it's going to sound tone deaf. Or if I'm positioning saying, hey, use coupon code COVID, it's so insensitive. But saying, how do I identify with my where my audience is right now and showing that this is taking advantage of an opportunity and saying where people are right now, they're in a lot of pain. And if I can understand and I can connect with my crowd better than anybody else, and I can, I can do more than ever, that truly helps me serve through this opportunity. So when we get on the other side of this, and we will get on the other side of this, you will have an amazing story to tell. You have more and more stories of people inside your audience, inside your target market who's saying, you were there for me. And I don't know where I would be without you, without your message, your book, your coaching, your course, whatever it might be. That helped me get through COVID-19 better than anything else. And I'm going to keep leaning into your wisdom, into your expertise as a thought leader, because you were there when I was in so much pain. And instead of giving me a vitamin, you gave me something that actually helped solve that problem or fix that challenge. So go out into the world today. Make it an amazing day today. Think about whatever you're offering the world. Be clear on your why. Know your audience. Be, be able to understand, articulate what they're going through better than anybody else. And know their challenges this month. Not last month. Not last year. This month or next month. And if you're saying, I don't know. John, you might be thinking, God, I, I, I go through all this. I don't really know what it is that... Um, that I'm at. I don't know my why. I don't really know my audience. I don't know their challenges. I don't know if anything that I have to even offer can solve a, 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 a pain point. It just feels kind of like vitamins right now. Go to workwithjohncook.com, fill out an application. Again, it doesn't cost you a dime to do that. We'll hop on a call. We'll talk about your audience. We'll talk about your message. Talk about this opportunity and how you can keep serving people better than ever, and we will get through, through this together. Make it a great day. Talk to you soon, okay?